Hello model railroaders, welcome back to the layout, or in this case my paint booth area, which is in my uh, cold room underneath the front porch. Uh, this video I'm going to do a review of the Rock Ultra Quiet air compressor that I purchased uh, going, well, about five and a half months ago. I believe I've got enough data now that I can give an honest review of it, and the Overall review is, yes, I like it. It uh, serves the purpose of, for running my airbrush uh, without any issues. I prefer it over the little miniature ones for running an airbrush. Uh, I find that those are very high in their pitch, and this is not, and it is definitely a lower pitch than those screaming ones that you can get from uh, the big box stores like I've got a uh, uh, three gallon one from uh, Canadian Tire and uh, that is oilless and it just screams at such a high pitch you have to leave the leave the room while it uh, loads up so um, what I'm going to do for right now is let's take a look at a decibel meter and with uh, just me talking uh, I'm in the around the 80 uh, range just at a normal uh, conversation I'm going to be quiet for a moment and let's see what it settles to so background is is right around you know 55 to 60 conversation is maxing in around the the 80 region 70 to 80 region so uh, I've got the unit turned on and that 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 is the on switch I'm currently just uh, above the trigger point uh, 85 psi is when it will kick on and I believe I'm reading right around 90 so I'm just going to run the airbrush full on and we'll take a look at the decibel meter to see what the uh, airbrush actually runs. I'll, so I'll be quiet and initiate it. And then the compressor will kick on when we hit our 85 PSI uh, low limit uh, trigger point. So I'm going to shut, shut the, uh, it off and the uh, little relief goes off. So very, you know, I would say pretty good. Uh, their claim that uh, these quiet units are in around a conversational uh, level, uh, this matches that because uh, where we were reading the airbrush, uh, stream, the air coming out of the tip of the airbrush was actually giving around 90 decibels, which is higher than the unit just on its own. And again, I'll to kind of go back uh, a little bit and you can see that we're in a concrete walled and, uh, you know, just a, uh, a wood slatted roof uh, or ceiling, I should say, uh, and, you know, concrete walls and in a fairly uh, enclosed little corner where the uh, where the unit is sitting. So from that aspect I agree that it is not larger than a conversation when they talk about these quiet air compressors. Um, 48 decibels, well we weren't seeing that 
and I try to look up online and nothing is really stated the distance away from the from the actual compressor that the decibel reading is taken. So I'm wondering if it's, you know, not when you're standing beside it, but if you're 10 feet away from it, or 15 feet away from it, if it's 48 decibels in an open area where you don't have any echoes or anything of that nature. So marketing wank, I don't know, uh, but, you know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, you know, it's a lot quieter than what's out there. Now, uh, I have used this unit uh, both here uh, with my paint spray booth, and I've actually taken it uh, four or five times down to a, a friend, and it is easy to pick up. It's heavy, but it's, you know, light enough that you can grab the handle and carry it around. Uh, set it on the back seat of the car, clip it in with the, the seat belt to, to hold it in place, and, uh, you know, take it, take it with you. Uh, I actually painted uh, a friend's track uh, that he wanted it, uh, painted a specific uh, rusty color, uh, and uh, he's an HO. And uh, over four or five days, uh, eight hours, you know, I was over the course of an eight-hour day, four or five days in, in uh, total, uh, I ran the unit and we had no issues uh, holding a conversation while I was spraying. Now, of course, it, where it was sitting, I had the, the fairly long uh, airbrush line. So I was able to uh, not be directly beside it as I am here. Uh, but we had no issues in uh, in that sense. The um, so very positive uh, review as far as most everything goes. Uh, I do have two negatives, and they're not big negatives, but you know, I'll what I have found the uh, fitting that is the uh, female out port. Uh, on the unit, I believe is more of a universal uh, air connector fitting, and I found that it was very hard for me to hook up my M style ones, and I was getting some air leakage. So I did replace that with my own, and uh, I haven't really checked the unit for air because I've got so many connections uh, of these uh, male-female uh, M-style air fittings in my setup. So if it does leak a little bit as far as from the regulator uh, back through the unit, the 30 seconds that it's going to take to uh, overcome that leakage of, the, of it running, well, or you know, if it goes flat overnight, if you're just dealing with the tank itself, it only takes a few minutes to uh, to take care of the 1.6 gallons to make that come up to 120 psi where it kicks off. So I'm personally not concerned about the uh, it holding 120 psi overnight because three minutes to fill up. You know, even if I take it somewhere, I'm going to take it empty. So, uh, that was the, the one. The second is, you can see the uh, water drain valve right here. Now, it's I would have preferred more of a uh, open-close style valve. Uh, more of a ball valve rather than a screwed fitting that has some uh, holes uh, built into it. And so draining it when you've got uh, actual pressure in the system, it takes a long time because uh, you don't want to just un undo it and have it 
the little nut uh, shoot off like a projectile. The other is, as you can see, it's coming out the lower side of the tank, which is easy to reach to uh, bleed some moisture off, though it's you have to really tilt the whole unit so that that is up on uh, the side legs here in this kind of a tilt uh, to get that as the very bottom of the tank. So uh, as I found during using it at my friends uh, when it was very humid out, it did collect moisture in the tank. So that's a negative for me, uh, though running the uh, moisture trap on this unit. I've never collected any moisture in the moisture trap on the line. So um, take it for what you will. That's just a negative I found on this specific style. And I'll just try and get you a, uh, a shot if I can. I don't know how well that will show up of the uh, the tag on there and uh, for the specifics. The uh, purchase price, well, I did pick it up on sale from uh, Busy Bee Tools here in Ontario, southern Ontario. And right now they've got a sale ending March 20th. And uh, here's the the unit there. So the motor is uh, 0.65 horsepower, 110 volt, uh, 60 hertz, 5.5 uh, amps, 48 decibels is their claim, giving 90 psi at 1.3 uh, cubic feet per minute output, and the uh, motor's running at uh, 1400 RPM. Now, right now, it's on sale for $10 off. Uh, and the model number, since I haven't stated that yet, is B3837. Uh, now, I've only found Busy B that, that handles the, the rock line. Uh, so I've not really seen it. But looking at the compressor itself, it looks identical to that in the images of the California air compressors. So this is the closest one that I've found to that. Uh, and overall, I'm very happy with the purchase. Uh, I'm even on just running on its own. The 1.6 gallon tank is uh, sufficient for the airbrush that it's not running continuously as I'm using the airbrush. As you saw, it was only uh, 5 psi and it took uh, you know a little bit before it uh, bled down uh, to that amount. Now that is also taking into account that I've got a five gallon tank uh, that uh, an air five gallon air pick tank that I put in line just to give me some greater uh, reserve uh, so that uh, it's not kicking on as frequently uh, however when I was at my buddy's uh, it wasn't running all the time it definitely had uh, you know, five or ten minutes of using the airbrush uh, because I wasn't running the airbrush full out when I was spraying. And uh, it behaved quite well. Uh, so I've gotten only those two negatives and they're not deal breakers for me. Uh, like I said, whatever uh, air coupling that you're running, you may find that perfectly great. The uh, the one that comes with it. I just chose to put my own on. Uh, and uh, the draining, yeah, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. But it's not a deal breaker for me. So hopefully uh, the review you find useful of the Rock Ultra Quiet Air Compressor, oilless, oil-free air compressor, uh, where I'm using it specifically for my uh, spray paint or air booth. So uh, I'm Dave and uh, till the next video.
Bye for now.